We are here today on the very spot where the first full unit raised here, the 52nd New Ontario Battalion, bivouacked and trained until November 1915 when the battalion left for Europe and we are here to dedicate this memorial to those who lost their lives. This space is a concrete way to honour those who served a century ago, as well as a gift to future generations and the entire city. Over 1,000 soldiers from all ranks left Port Arthur in November of 1915, bound for Europe. By war's end, about 4,000 soldiers had passed through the 52nd Battalion. Indeed, the 52nd Battalion is an important part of our city and region's historic past and is the only unit from the area that we have full records for from World War I. This monument will ensure that the men and officers who made the ultimate sacrifice 100 years ago will be remembered for generations to come. The 52nd Battalion gave us 18 battle honours, over 300 decorations for bravery, including one Victoria Cross. It gave us our regimental colours of royal blue and French grey, and our motto, Interpericula Intrapidi, which translates as fearless in the face of danger. We all know the 52nd Battalion from the pivotal chapter in the history of Canada and as part of the graduation of the Lake Superior Scottish Regiment. That chapter is marked with great achievement, but as I learned in battle as a commanding officer, it is especially marked with great sacrifice. The sacrifice of thousands of soldiers from Northwest Ontario who volunteered to serve their country and never returned, or returned badly wounded, both physically and mentally. Please come and visit this serene and beautiful place on other days. Come and see the poppies. Watch the leaves fall and the wind blow. Have a seat on the bench and reflect. Bring the children and tell them the story of the people named here, lest we forget. <laughs>